Hello! Today I'm going to introduce you to the Foundry Nuke. Now if you're used to using other compositing packages, such as Adobe After Effects, you might find that Nuke's interface is a little odd. That's okay. As soon as you learn the basics, you'll find that it's very easy to use and also quite powerful. I'm going to start out by just introducing you to the various interface components of Nuke. By default, Nuke is composed of several panes, and in those panes are one or more panels. For example, up here at the top is a viewer pane. And right now there's a single viewer panel. To the right is a properties bin and script editor pane. Right now we have the properties panel. Down below is the node graph, curve editor, and dope sheet pane. And in fact you can see all three of those panels right now. There's also a node toolbar here at the left. And at the top, the main menu. So let me talk about what's in the various panes and panels and what they're used for. We'll start with the viewer pane. The viewer pane contains the view of various viewers. By default, you get a single viewer, which you can see down here as a node. Now, because there's nothing hooked up to that viewer, there's no node network, the viewer is just black. However, you can see the bounding box and the resolution of the current project. The viewer pane also contains the playback controls. You'll see these in other programs as well. However, there are a few special buttons that are unique, and we'll talk about those later on. Below that is the timeline and the time slider. Let's go back down to the node graph. The node graph is the area where you add nodes and construct node networks. Right now there's only the viewer node. However, you can add a new node at any time. Once you have a new node, you can look at the properties for that node up here in the properties panel. So just for now, I want to make a new node just so you can see that. There are several ways to make new nodes, one of which is to go up here to the toolbar. If you let your mouse hover over one of these icons, you can see the category name. For example, filter. If you click that category, you'll see all the nodes that belong to that category. So for example, I can click Blur to create a Blur node. And there it is. Once you create a new node, you'll see the properties up here in the Properties panel. And these properties are arranged as various knobs. When I say knobs, I mean either sliders, drop-down menus, numeric cells, or checkboxes. You can close this view of these properties at any time by clicking the X at the top right. Or if you want to reopen those properties, just double click the node. Once you have something to look at in the node graph or the viewer, you can use some shortcuts to move around. For example, you can middle mouse button click and drag to scroll. You can also use your scroll wheel, if you have one on your mouse, to scroll in and out to zoom. If you press your middle mouse button one time, that frames whatever's in that panel. So one time here, middle mouse, that frames the nodes, or one time here in the viewer, middle mouse, frames the viewer. If you don't have a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can also press the Alt key or the Option key, hold the middle mouse button down, and drag left or right, and that's also a zoom. Beside the node graph is also the curve editor and the dope sheet panels. You can just click on those tabs to see those. You can use both of these to edit animation curves and keyframes once you have animation. So we'll return to these later on. Let's talk about the main menu. The main menu has all your menu items for common functions like open and save. Nuke files are a special text format with the NK extension. Under edit you have your global preferences and also your project settings. Each project has its own window in Nuke. So right now we have a single project. If I click this, I get all the important settings for the project, including the frame range, frames per second, and the resolution. There are presets for the resolution, but you can also make your own custom size. So there are the main interface components of Nuke. In the next video, we'll talk about how to import footage and how to construct a basic node network.